Sada ću ga zamoliti da mi se pridruži ovdje i da podijeli svoju priču o nastavku ove organizacije sa nama. Thank you very much. Alhamdulillah, sassama asuullah. The story is very simple, very easy, not difficult. As Islamic Leaf is a British international humanitarian organization, the culture in Britain allowed Islamic Leaf tree to grow because it's conducive, inclusive, diverse. And to let such an organization to turn itself or to transform itself into a forest that bear its fruits in different countries and to millions and millions of people. You want to translate? Yes, We did not have any budget, any office, any employee, any even vision to start on 17th Tuesday, 17th of January, 1984, at half past six in the evening. Is that right, Brother Nasser? Challenge me then. <laughs> you are not born yet, huh? <laughs> and no office. It's only a donation box. And this for you youngsters to understand how can you transform a seed into a forest in 33 years? When you become patient, dedicated, focused on the deliverable to the community, for the community and by the community. <coughs> I can speak Bosnia. Nismo imali ni budžet, ni kancelariju, ni poslanike. Nismo imali ni jasnu viziju. 17. januara 1984. godine smo se okupili i počeli se raditi. Kako bi svi mladi danas ovdje shvatili kako obično sjene mogu pretvoriti u silu, reći ću da je nama trebalo puno fokusa i puno predanosti. That was very nice. Yes. So from this diverse, simple beginning, you see Islamic Leaf what you have today. With us today, it's Office of Islamic Leaf from Germany, from Switzerland, from UK, from USA, and anybody, anybody else? Bosnia. Of course, no, we are here, we are here. <laughs> we are in Bosnia course from Bosnia, as well as others, to celebrate the 20, 25th anniversary. This year we'll celebrate 25th anniversary in Bosnia, in Pakistan, in Bangladesh, in Sudan, uh, Albania. This is how we started. Next year we'll celebrate USA 25th anniversary as well. The mission of Islamic Leaf was focused on humanitarian delivery. That's why we managed to pass through all the challenges, including September the 11th. Where many organizations were closed down, but Islamic Leaf grew up faster than we could expect. Because of the culture, that Islamic Reef has been created through, as well as because of the value that Islamic Reef has added to humanity and the humanitarian movement from different parts of the globe. 
Sorry. Iz ovog razloga jesmo rasli, zbog naše predanosti i naše volje. Danas imamo svoje urede širom svijeta. Večeras tu sa nama jesu predstavnici urede Švicarske, Njemačke, Ujedinjenog kraljestva, Sjedinjenog američkih država i naravno Bosne i Hercegovine i jesmo tu. Danas obilježamo 25 godina Islam Halifa u Bosne i Hercegovini, a narednih godina obilježit ćemo i godišnice u mnogim drugim državama. Na primjer, naredne godine obilježavamo 25. godine Islamih Halifa u Sjedinjenim Američkim državama. Dok su osnovne organizacije kolapsirali, nisu mogli raditi, Islamih Halif je rastao. Upravo zbog kulture u kojoj smo nastali i zbog naše misije i misije i naše stranosti. Today is not about an individual or two or three individuals who started the work of Islamic Khalif 33 years ago. In Bosnia today we should welcome Sheikh Saleh Julakovic who was actually one of the first people to introduce Bosnia to the Middle East in April, May and June 19, no, 1992. We welcome Sheikh Saleh Julakovic. Also with us, Asa'at Taha, where is Asa'at Taha? He was here. I'm not seeing you, Asa'at. Asa'at Taha was the sole presenter of NBC, the largest TV in the Middle East at that time, before Al Jazeera. And in this building was his office. Yeah. And he was injured. And they came out from his office with the blood on his face. Asata was one of the great supporters still of Islamic Khalif, not only in Bosnia, but in Chechnya in January 1995, when we met him incidentally in, uh, in, Gro in Grozny. Thank you, Asata. Also welcome Brother Wasim who was in the story of the bedtime story, the story of the egg, Wasim. Also welcome Haji Dennis, son, can you stand up please, Haji Dennis, son. And Harris. I cannot talk about the great people of Bosnia. Who built Islamic relief? But I will ask one individual to come and there will be honor to stand next to her, which is Sister Beautiful, Jamila. Where is she? My beauty. Where is she? She's, she's shy? Come here, come here, come here, come here. I take a selfie with you. Because <laughs> I'm Salafi, yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Come on, she is 20. And, and she is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so she is 25 years to serve not only Islamic Relief, serve Bosnia and serve humanity. We also tonight we have to honor the volunteers. Okay, who are sitting at the back and they are doing a lot of work to make you happy tonight. So, and all the employees of Islamic Relief in Bosnia here, which really I spend a lot of good time with them. We saw the difficult time but we passed through the difficult time through a vision 
to establish, stabilize, maintain, and create peace. Peace to stop any war machine to come back to Bosnia again. We need to stop all the war machines of creating a conflict, not only in Bosnia, but in different parts of the world. And this is one of the great aim of us in Islamic Leaf as humanitarian worker. No more conflict that we'll see. No more suffering that we should, need, we should see people having. And no, no more refugees, IDPs, and others. Our aim is to stop it. And we need to stop it. We must stop it. And we have to work hard with one another to stop it. И да дойде до само одржива у мира и тежим и дан данас ка томе и не желим да се понови било какъв контур, не само в Босовецко, но и в Гилобде. Си оби люди заедно с нама с Ролада и с Ролада и с Ролада и како би сме успоставили тая мир и една мисия и с Ролада и Филифа е да се контур ще не бъде. И да конкурс, да кажа, да не дойдем, брата Валия, с мен, защото три от вас ще бъде 75 години. And uh, I forgot what I was going to say. You say that we have uh, 75 years. 75 Three years. Three of us. Yeah, I forgot now. <laughs> My mind is gone with the wind. Okay. No, no, no. And uh, to conclude, huh? You prepare surprise, definitely. No, no surprise. <laughs> no surprise. No uh, surprise. To conclude, today, is Sheikh Mustafa Serich here? Yes. Oh my God, yes. I also have to salute Sheikh Mustafa Serich. As well, if you can have the honor of having Sheikh Mustafa Sirish, Sheikh Salah Jalakovic with us here, please. I'll just ask each one of them to speak for two, three minutes, one in, uh, in Bosnian and one in English because Sheikh Mustafa Sirish speaks English. You are my brother because of this. I'm your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Always ready for joke. Uh, Sheikh Saleh in Bosnia. Two minutes. To welcome people. Two minutes. Two minutes. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum. Želim ovom prilikom samo da zahvalim doktoru Benni što nije zaboravio davnu saradnju i ono što smo zajednički doprinjeli na tom planu, Eškuru doktor Aniel Benna, Allah Adem i Nisijan. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا النبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم. بوشتو يا موي برات حنا ركا ودا شو يا قولت دوي مينوتة بس ما مي أسبيشت يدنو بريشو كويا سويجي زا دوا زا دوا نشتو دوا كاوا I will speak in English as he, because he is the boss to, tonight here. <laughs> Brother Hanna, welcome to Sarajevo. <laughs> we were younger, 25 years. Yes. You are still, still younger. Yes, <laughs> when I saw you first. I want to tell you something uh, tonight that probably was due to tell you a long time ago. I appreciate your friendship with Salih Sholakovic. <laughs> and when I saw him, it is like I saw you. Alhamdulillah. So these two men are so tied, so connected, that I have to say this. So thank you very much. Your friendship with Salih Sholakovic is our friendship altogether. <laughs> now the story goes like this. A father ask a son to take a stone 
and go to the market to sell. And the son asks the father, how much the price of the store? And the father told to the son, you say only like this, or don't say anything, but show two like this. So when the son went to the market, man came to him and asked him, how much is this stone? And then the possible potential buyer said, two dollars. So the son took the stone, went to the father and said, the man offered me two dollars. He said, okay, now go to the museum. And then when he went to the museum, they asked him, how much is the stone? And he just showed like this. And the man said, it means two hundred dollars. And then he went back again to the father and said, the man in the museum said it is two hundred dollars. Then he said to him, you go to this shop of the precious stones and ask the man and show him the stone. And he went there and the man asked him, how much is the stone? He just showed like this. And the man said, this is the most precious stone I ever seen, I have ever seen in my life. So I offer you 200,000 because you said this thief too. So he went to the father and the father told him, you ask me about the value of life, isn't it? He said, yes. Now you see, the value of this stone is not the value of the stone, but where, but the, your position or the people with whom you are. If you are with the people on the market, that is two dollars. If you go to the people to the museum, two hundred. But if you go to the diamonds and be among the diamonds, you are your value is how much? Two hundred thousand. So I am here because you are diamonds. And, and the Islamic relief is this value, not only for Bosnia, and this man, he has no price. He is priceless. <laughs> because his work is priceless. Because Islamic relief is priceless. Because my friend, Dr. Vasim, is priceless. His egg is 200,000, not only 2 dollars, 200,000. I am very honored to be invited to join you tonight and to be with you to celebrate 25 years of the uh, Islamic relief in Bosnia-Herzegovina. I have to congratulate, I met my brother Hani Albanna so many times in many different, especially after the events of September. We shared our fears, our concerns, and how it's going to be. But this man is a phenomenon, is a hero. He survived all these very difficult times. You know, 11th of September, is like a storm which for us Muslims more difficult than the storm of Maria in Florida in everywhere. And this man stood up with Islamic relief and stayed in Bosnia. It is the only humanitarian organization in Bosnia Herzegovina that uh, has passed the test of all the difficulties and understood what Bosnia needs. So. On behalf of all the Bosnians, wherever they are, on behalf of the state of Bosnia, on behalf of Islamic community, I wear my, because I'm now retired, I should be in a, uh, how you say, bedla, bedla. Uh, shoot, uh, coming here with you, but I wanted you to remember that I was the Reisul Ulema Grand Mufti when he was the Grand Mufti of humanitarian aid.
in Aurora Land. Thank you. So on behalf of all of you, and especially he is uh, wearing this uh, special, uh, um, how you say, symbol against genocide. So can I, uh, Mufti doesn't, the Muftis don't do that, but because we are special in Bosnia, I have to do something special. I will kiss his hand. <laughs> Večeras smo tu da čujemo priče ljudi islamnih falifa iz različitih perspektiva. U nastupu sjedi priča iz jedne potpuno druge perspektive koje će nam ispričati Muhammed Ukovac. We gathered here tonight to hear stories of people who are a part of Islamic Relief in different ways. Now, Mohamed Dupolitz will tell a story from a different perspective. Please join us. Assalamu alaikum svima. Želim da poselam je cijeli skup na čelu sa rukovodstvom Islam Krelifa. Assalamu alaikum to everyone, especially assalamu alaikum to the management of the 